So you've just won a new project. You have a great client. Things seem like they're going well. And then all of a sudden, the client asks you to do something that you didn't plan for. And you relent. You say, okay, we can take care of this for you. You want the client to remain a happy client. But then they ask you again to do something else that wasn't part of what you initially planned for in the project. This is essentially known as scope creep. Uh, and it's something that plagues and impacts a lot of consultants. Uh, and what I see consistently is that consultants are afraid to push back. They're afraid to, to say, no, you know, I can't do this. We won't do this. It's not part of our initial uh, agreement. Now, how can you handle this? One of the best ways is to be proactive rather than reactive. And what I mean specifically is to set expectations very clearly with the client, right? Uh, before you actually begin the engagement or, and additionally, uh, as you kick off the engagement in kind of throughout that onboarding process or initial meetings, setting of expectations is incredibly important. Don't leave it to hope and to chance, because if you do, you'll often find that the scope creep, scope creep will kick in, uh, profitability and margin of the project will erode uh, and you will not be left uh, happy. Uh, so here, make sure that you set very clear expectations with the client uh, in advance of what is included in the project and the engagement. And also, this is the most important part, what is not included, right? So let them know so that there's there can be really no misunderstandings, no, um, you know, I thought this might be also covered. Go through all of that, be very clear. And when you do, you'll find that you'll significantly reduce scope creep and you'll create more opportunities for ways to help your client beyond even the initial engagement. Because when they ask you to help them in some other area, you can respond with, oh, we'd be very happy to, to help you with that as well. Uh, we can put together, you know, that's not included in uh, this initial, this project or in the scope of what we're currently working on within this engagement or within this project, but we can put together a proposal of how we can best help you with X, right? X being the new thing or their request. And then they get to consider, is this something that's really important for them? Uh, and if it is, they might decide to move forward and add that on uh, or add it to a later stage, or they might go, you know what? Um, actually, that maybe that isn't as important because as you're creating these relationships with clients and, and they start to you know trust you more and, and see you as a trusted advisor, uh, they're gonna turn to you you know, for with all kinds of requests and kind of their first impulse, they're going to come to you with that, even if they haven't in all cases thought it through. And so by you being able to have those very clear expectations in place and be able to say, Hey, this is not actually included very, as we talked about, but we can help you with it as a, as a separate project or, you know, get you a proposal for it. It also is valuable for the client because they get to think and kind of prioritize, is this actually a priority for us? Is this actually an important investment for us to make? Uh, and it may not always be the case. So, Again, the lesson here is always set very clear expectations with the client upfront of both what you will do and what is included in the project and also what is not included in the project.